Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Podcasty Master. I'm Chelsea, and I'm here with Wade as always. And we're back for a little bit more on one of our favorite games, the game that, you know, we've been playing nonstop basically since it was released. Well, there's some new updates coming this way, and that will be for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Got some pretty cool stuff coming up, too. Yes. It Honestly, this update that we're getting, it's a lot more than I actually expected we were getting at once, so. I Yeah, well, like, we have, like, the free update and the paid mm-hmm. update at the same time, which I think um, when they initially announced, like, this cur- the current little, like, roadmap that we're on, when they mm-hmm. announced that, I think it was a given at first that like yeah you'll be getting them all like like mm-hmm. every update you'll get you'll get the free update and the paid update but then the first update like after they did that it was staggered well yeah. i guess we didn't even get like a, a paid update yet but we got Mm-mm. a free update and then i was like okay well i guess they're i guess they're just kind of like staggering them around and now update number two they're like here's both yeah so i can't <laughs> yeah no and it's i'll stop trying full... to figure it out <laughs> yeah but I'm like, hey, I'm excited, and I, I really like that they're doing special things still for free, as well as continuing with the paid update, which, mm-hmm. I mean, when this episode releases, the following day will be when this big update for both the paid and free comes out. May 1st, absolutely. Yeah. So we're catching this a little bit right before, because on this past Wednesday, they released a whole video diving into the updates, and so we're just going to kind of talk about them, maybe even talk about what we've been doing in our valley, as, all, as well as what we plan to do now because of all these crazy things. So let's just dive right in to which part should we talk about first? Well, like, let's just hit the characters, because why the heck not, man? Uh, yeah. We, yes. we love the characters. We love them yeah. so much. This Like, and we get, well, anytime we get multiple characters, like more than one, that's mm-hmm. already a good day. Like, last time we got Mike and Sully, mm-hmm. um, but it was from one thing, right? It was two characters, yeah. but together. So cool, but this time they're two completely different characters, like, not tied together at all. Nope, and they have their own homes that are so unique mm-hmm. so the free update the first ca- the character you get is you get daisy duck about we need time some, yeah <laughs> we need somebody <laughs> to help out donald <laughs> in the valley. i know well she's got plenty of sass for everybody too so yeah although Her maybe she Minnie. doesn't have Ooh. time for donald because of all the things that she's gonna be in charge of <laughs> you, now you you know you know he's gonna be chasing her around she's gonna be like sarah i am an entrepreneur <laughs> yes you need to get a job <laughs> yeah <laughs> And you and your like, quote-unquote sailor job. No, and he'll be like, I don't want to get a job with my uncle. I can't Oh, yeah, he's going to mooch, yeah. mooch off his uncle. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, no, we have our entrepreneur, Daisy Duck, who we are getting a store that I, I'm i glad that people will be enjoying this. I personally haven't done a whole lot with the Touch of Magic stuff, but a place for you to showcase your designs and I think eventually share them. I'm not quite sure on the details of how you this can, work out. You can sell them. Mm. That was that was the word that was used that you can um you can post your custom designs in the shop and then you can sell them to your okay. friends. <laughs> um which is okay like okay. Um like I'm very similar. I have only done it three or four times. Like Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, and that was even a lot closer to like the launch of the game yes. than today. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so, and and maybe this will be some good incentive to try it out again. I mean, since then we have gotten so many new motifs and mm-hmm. everything else. Think of like the furniture you can you can apply your designs yeah, to now right. as well. Mm-hmm. You know, so maybe I'll give it a shot. But the shop itself looks really cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to like finding it a place just yeah, to, you know, inside add looks to huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. In the building I, itself. I yeah. just, and you know, there will be people on day one ready to like fill that sucker up. <laughs> yep. 100%. Like, oh my God. I'm not one of them, but yeah, it's wow. The, I'm like, um, I need, those... I need the plaza, my plaza to be bigger to fit all these new things. Um, yeah, because you want like all your shops and stuff, you want them all right there in the plaza. And yeah, no, legit, I just, I mean, even like right now, I have like Scrooge's shop and then Remy's cafe mm-hmm. and, and also Remy's apartment because like, yes, I can't separate the yeah. two. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, that's all I have there, like building wise. 
But then you put in you put in Daisy Shop. I don't know and where that's gonna house. go right now. I don't know where that's and going. her house. Well, that's the thing too, because all of my all of my like regular Disney characters are in the meadow, mm-hmm. along with like Merlin and Wally and the fairy godmother. So <laughs> I can't put Daisy not with everybody else. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure that mess out. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but that's just. <laughs> It's tomorrow's job, I guess. <laughs> yes. We'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm glad I haven't focused too hard on, like, f- like completely, like, solidifying my, like, decorating because of all the stuff they just announced in this update that's going to greatly impact the design of my valley, so. Oh, for you specifically? Like, with all the yeah. the new Star Path stuff? Yeah, specifically, yeah, with yeah. this the star path that we're getting, the Disney parks. So we're getting a lot more rides and hopefully a lot more little decorations as well as i hope from the parks but there were definitely some that's big what i want that they showed yeah that's what i want i mean like there's like the aladdin magic carpet rides mm-hmm. they're coming like it's like ugh. a hot air balloon ride that has inside out characters i think it's a ride from disney california adventure oh okay yeah those are the two i noticed for sure and then i it's just there was a lot to look at this thing even like mm-hmm. stopping frame by frame but I also, like, have bought some of the stuff in their premium shop, like the Tower of Terror. The Tower of Terror. I have not. At, fir- at first, I was like, oh, what a cool house skin this is. Uh, not a house skin. It's a ride. Mm-mm. Which, I mean, makes sense because it's a ride. But I just thought it was. And then when I found out it wasn't, I was just like, that's a really big fe- piece of furniture to just sit down and walk away from. Like, that's, <laughs> I don't want that taking up all my space. Yeah, I couldn't resist. Like, you can interact with it and, like, the doors will open on it and stuff. But speaking of interactions with rides, I never really thought this was going to come to the game. I was just always my wishful thinking about how freaking cool would it be to ride your rides. And not just ride the rides. You can take you can pictures. Take, you can take pictures on the rides. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll have, to, we'll, have to, um, we'll have to visit each other and we'll have yes. to, like, ride the rides together. 100% and we're definitely <laughs> going to be sharing those. I feel like that's going to be the first thing I do with this update. <laughs> yeah, Man, I, I got to find somewhere to put all of my rides. I used to have them all on the beach mm. and like a boardwalk kind of area. Ooh, and yeah. I took them, I got rid of them because they were tacky and I hated them. Um, but <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to Eternity Isle and I'm going to go to the jungle and I think I'm going to start turning the jungle into a little theme park area. That would be neat. Because right now I have nothing in the Eternity Isle areas. I have, like, my house, yeah. right? Because, mm-hmm. like, you have to in, like, the shop and the restaurant and whatever. Yeah. But I, the biomes themselves are empty. Outside yeah. of, like, little baby farming plots for, like, the new mm-hmm. stuff. Everything, I have wiped it. It's all gone. And it's fine because you don't ever have to do anything there unless you're like, you know, picking stuff up and whatnot. Yeah. But maybe it's time to to get some stuff going over there. Yeah. Eternity Isle is so tricky for me because I just have no idea how to decorate it. I'm just kind of like, it's kind of fine the way it is. It's just kind of this like unknown landscape. But I honestly feel like I've spent most of my time just in Eternity Isle right now. Like I haven't left it. I haven't gone actually back to my actual valley and checked oh on things gosh. and like decorated. I'm just like, I, I just like you've abandoned trapped. them again. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Great, now we're gonna have oh another God. forgetting Chelsea. Good job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, even think more about so, Minnie. You're gonna send her away again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're gonna traumatize then, that poor girl. Yeah, everybody will be traumatized, but. I mean, then they then we have this new update. We have Act 2 coming, and the other character that we get for the paid part is Oswald, the lucky rabbit. Which is crazy. Like, when we and when the- we sat down and looked at this game for the first time, and we're like, who are they going to put in this game? Oswald never came up in those conversations. No. no, and never in this particular way that it's coming. Like, he's coming. He has such a cool design. They're really, like, really leaning hard into, like, the whole 2D animation aspect, the black and white playing things up, which will even affect some of the, like, the critters as well as some of the items you can mm-hmm. unlock. But he has the best house. 
his house. I oh my god, it's so like this old love. school like theater. Yes. And it's also in black and white. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I don't know where I'm putting that either, but oh my god, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. And then the interior of it is kind of like this 1920s-esque vibe, but it has like a little bar area and like just the whole aesthetic of it is so cool. And Oh yeah. I was just in awe. I was like, there's so much in this, but my two favorite things were like Oswald with his house and being able to go on rides. <laughs> like that's all you need to please me with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... It's it seems like so much and I hope it doesn't all go like by it in a blur. Like I want it to mm. last a little bit. Yeah. Um especially with the story. I I hate yes. where the story ended off like with the <laughs> with the main story where yeah. like Jafar is kind of like, Ta-da, I've been the villain all Whoa. along. You suck. And then, <laughs> yeah. like, locks himself in the palace. And it's like, and everybody's like, oh, I guess we can't go after him. And you're just like, what? <laughs> what do you yes, mean? Yes, we can, guys. We could do it. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it's a, like, continuation from that. Or maybe that's what Act 3 is going to be. Yeah, Cause I don't know. We're going to, I think we're going to explore more of the ancient ruins though, because we're finally going to be able to go to that part that's like sunken in. And I hope it's like a decent area and not just like, oh, this is where Oswald's been. Like when, um, when we got Olaf and we got Mm -hmm. access to that little back room area, but it's like, there was, yeah, there's some story stuff and then that's it. You'll never go back there again. I'm hoping it's not just that simple, I suppose. Yeah. I, I feel like there has to be a good amount, surely, because of this being, like, part of the paid content. And I feel like the first part was still, like, moderately lengthy, I would say. Oh, it was, I mean, it's yeah. Middle, yeah. So I hope you can expect that. And then just on top of it as well, because of it being the part of the Act 2 for the paid update, you also get more, like, stuff with the, the Royal Hourglass. I guess you get to level it up more and we get some more exclusive items as well, so. Uh-huh. But yeah. What else is in this update? All the new multiplayer stuff. Yes. Like, yes. we we have multiplayer, so we can, like, come and visit each other, and we can pick some things up off the ground. Uh, and that's about it. That's, like, yeah. that's about all you can do. But soon, we'll be able to go to each other's uh, villages, and we can use our tools. We can harvest stuff. We can actually, like, do things together and take pictures. And yeah. that's just like, that's like, thank you. That's, that's literally all we needed to do. Yeah. You know? No, I, yeah, you're right. That's like, those are like the essential things for the multiplayer that just really make it like multiplayer. And so, well, I, it makes me excited because honestly, I think like we only played multiplayer like that one or two times. Yeah. Like one cause... time because there just wasn't. <laughs> yeah. We, we got to show each other our valleys and then. Mm-hmm. And that was, yeah. That was it. That's, that's, there's. And I don't feel uh, neither of us have like done any like hugely major updates to our valleys to show no, each other. No, not since then. Yeah. Yeah. Although I'm trying, I I'm taking it slow. I'm not doing like a biome at a time. I'm doing like parts of a biome at a time, and it's it's been beneficial. Yeah. Well, once I get back to my own valley, because I feel like I'm just spending <laughs> all eternity on yeah. Eternity Isle. So I gotta come and rescue you from the <laughs> yes. Isles. Yeah, you do. <laughs> It's like Neverland or something. I just, I can't leave or whatever. It's just. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, speaking of Neverland. um, Oh, Isn't yeah. the Skull Rock supposed to open up soon? Like, wasn't that part of the roadmap? Probably for the free update, I would imagine. I hope it's for the free update because it's, yeah, it's not on Attorney Isle. But it's definitely been teased. And that was a while well, back. That, like, so. the characters have talked about it. We've done, like, quests. <laughs> kind of related to it like yeah it's it's definitely like it's in there yeah Mm -hmm. well i hope it is a free update just for people because like of it being part of that and it's not going to be like the second paid expansion because i also could honestly see that being a thing too Mm -hmm. but we shall see so i i just pulled up the i just pulled up the roadmap again because i haven't looked at it in forever so this this one It actually shows that it, like, the free update and the paid update are together. Like, it does show Mm -hmm. that that was going to be a thing. So, might be on that. But it, it, this is, well, the free update part is listed as early spring 2024. While the paid update part shows spring 2024. The next free update is scheduled for late spring 
And that's the Mulan update. Oh, yes. Which, I guess I already need to set aside some a place for Mulan. Because, you know, she's going to be my best friend. Yeah, oh, that's going to be hard for me. Where is she going to go? I guess she can go next to Elsa, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, in, in that area over there. Yeah, in that area. Cause since, that's like... since Elsa's living in a freaking cave. Yeah. Well, my house is next door, and basically I've turned oh, the okay. whole area to my extended, like, backyard extravaganza gotcha. slash uh, my garden of chest. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, right, because you've got all your yep. chests outside. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just Fair so enough. everybody can see the hoarding just in the valley itself. <laughs> everybody knows what's happening there. <laughs> well, my, my like, little hoarding area, my room in my house where I have all yeah. my storage stuff, um, I upgraded it a teensy tiny bit, and I've replaced uh, my a lot of my chests with large chests. Mm-hmm. So yes. I can keep more of, like, the thing in there. So it looks, oh, it, it allowed me to, like, remove a bunch of chests. And it was kind of nice. <laughs> Yeah. No, I really like how they added those different ones. It definitely used a lot of resources, but I was hoarding them for a reason. So they went to, mm-hmm. I have all just large chests now as well. Now, uh, looking at the looking at this roadmap again, Chelsea, I wonder if we have a little extra time just to speculate a little bit. Okay. The, the, the end of the roadmap shows uh, summer 2024. That's the Tiana update for the free stuff. Mm-hmm. And then um, the end... You know, the end of the story for Eternity Isle with Jafar and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all going to come to a head in summer 2024. Okay. Does that mean that we're going to have another expansion coming by the end of the year? Like, do we think we're going to get yearly expansions? I don't To like know. an annual story? It would kind of make sense. And that's what also I'm like, well, maybe the Skull Rock part will be the next expansion. Oh, like if- the next expansion? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. There's so many possibilities, but I'll be very curious to see where the story goes itself with Eternity Isle. And I thought you were going to say we can speculate when do we think summer updates are coming in late spring. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess that late spring is probably going to be like, like beginning of June. Yeah. I was <laughs> Even say though that. that's not summer <laughs> or that's not spring at all. Yeah. But um, the summer I'm betting probably closer to like maybe beginning mid August. Yeah. I would yeah. agree with that. Like I want to say that would be July, but that's too close to the hype. I, I think July is too, spring. too positive. I think. Yeah. Um, because if, if we get one like beginning mid August, then we can get our late September, early October halloween Mm. like they've kind of been doing and then we have a winter one Ooh, i just thought of something so this so if they release that one update in august well there's so many possibilities of what they could do for tiana stuff because i don't know how much like the star paths or how much stuff will keep leaning into the parks but because tiana's ride in both disneyland and disney world opens this year and then we also have the big Disney event, D23, does happen in August. So maybe that could be a thing if they want to almost coincide the release kind of like around line the weekend up. of it or something. That's or a good hype thought, it up. yeah. Ooh, yeah. But huh. also I want actual real life Dreamlight Valley merch, Disney. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I've gone to Etsy a few times and I've looked to see what's on Etsy. I'll be I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's I'm a sucker for some yeah. stickers, man. Yeah, I'll take anything. I'm... Yes, I'm. I'm encouraging. Yes, them to make merchandise. <laughs> the merchandise of all the things masters the to make more yes. merchandise. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, but that would be cool. But also, hmm. Yeah, this game just has so many updates, and I'm just realistically overall, I'm just happy with everything we get to do. And so even these, like these updates, are just really, really nice. And just yeah, they seem like such small potatoes, potatoes, but at the same time, it's like, well, but like, think of the possibilities. Think of this thing that we now didn't have before this came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I'm glad, like, they've really been on top of things, really listening to the community as a whole, I feel like this game has. And also, another thing, because we didn't talk about this, because it's been a little bit since we talked about Dreamlight Valley, but the initial, like, rewards they had for the very beginning when this game was in its very early stages, getting people hyped up, if we met those certain, like, the milestones, oh, those goals. So we yeah. finally did get those items in the game. Yeah. Like what, within the last like month or two? Like holy cow. So 
I haven't yeah like I haven't tried on the armor yet but I'm really excited to finally get the partner statue to add to my theme park area I did I I did like whenever like the uh, maybe it was like mm-hmm. the Mike yeah. and Sully update I got on the game and I tossed it on real quick and I like ran around initially in it and I was just like huh oh, look at this and then I took it off I it was gives like, me okay, birth by fine. sleep vibes <laughs> like honestly <laughs> <laughs> oh oh no that was a conversation that was mm-hmm. had in my household too yeah it really does it's absolute like kingdom hearts yes, like keyblade yeah. armor it it is um kudos to them for just kind of yeah. getting away with that i guess <laughs> maybe there'll be more of that mm. <laughs> oh my god could you imagine someday if we had sora no. uh. <laughs> <laughs> i would i would cry i wouldn't cry as much as when he was announced for smash I don't think anything will ever beat that because that was just, that was crazy. But but having him in Dreamlight Valley, no, amazing. It'll be Kingdom Hearts 4. You get to play games on a computer or play games on a console and you get transported into Dreamlight Valley through the actual Kingdom Hearts 4. So. <laughs> uh, Nomura <laughs> would do that. He'd call it something ridiculous yes. too. He'd call it something ab- like, it would be ridiculous, but yeah. also Kingdom well, Hearts. Well, I mean, we've already know? seen that in so many different ways in Kingdom Hearts already, getting sucked into video games and everything. So yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So like, so you say we're gonna have like a Kingdom Hearts Four Dreamlight Valley yeah. world? Is that mm-hmm. what you're saying? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but it, but but everybody who lives in that village is somebody who is not in our Dreamlight Valley. Like every single character is a is a is a completely separate character. But it's also characters that will never ever come to Dreamlight Valley. And everybody will just cry about it. It could be a twisted version of Epic Mickey <laughs> mixed with Dreamlight Valley. Of like the forgotten characters or whatever and oh, I don't know. Okay. It's some insane thing like that could totally okay. work. <laughs> you know who I'm I just re- I just thought of, you know who I'm kind of shocked it's not in the game yet? Pooh. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. For real. He would fit so, marvelously so within. He could bring honey with him. Yes. Mm-hmm. We could harvest honey from yes, a har- from a honey yes. tree. Yes. Like yeah, no, he would definitely. Somebody, somebody call Walt Dis- Disney. Come on. It's coming, I'm sure. We need <laughs> <Yes>. this now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just because you're also hanging out with the characters, just hearing the little like their music and stuff. Oh man! But if you're gonna have to have Pooh though, you're gonna have to bring more of them. Okay, Piglet or Tigger? Oh, Tigger for me. I am okay, such great. a Tigger fan. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Piglet could run around with like Buzz and Woody and Remy. <laughs> Piglet would be bigger than him. <laughs> Not by much. Oh, man. But now I do really want Pooh now. Now I got sad. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> but hey, just oh. think about who we're getting. And just like when this episode releases the next day, we're going to get to experience hanging out with oswald and daisy and we're also getting mulan and tiana in the coming months so oh, and jafar i suppose yeah which do you get those do you get those little like those little glitches like when you're in eternity isle and you just like check your map and you can actually like it shows that yes. jafar's like in his house or yes. jafar's like in the the cafe or something i i'm not gonna lie every single time he pops he pops up somewhere I run, I run and like, I'm going to like catch him in the act of something, you know, like, like, haha, you're actually in the game. I, I, it's, he's not going to be there. I know, but I always do. I always go and check. I can't help yeah. it. I'm, I'm really excited for him to like be an actual character walking around. Yeah. Oh, well. maybe can I move all my villains to eternity isle and like, that's oh, where they can all stay. It'd be they can all a... stay in the desert. Yeah. <gasps> we should, you need to see if Ursula's house can sit in like the sand. You know, like the water mm, sand. What a terrible place for her. <laughs> yeah. She's the only one I'm like fine staying. Everybody else can go, though. All the other villains. Well, can. you can't move Mother Gothel, though. She's stuck. I know. <laughs> the I one you want to move. I trap her in. Yes, the one I want to just move. Put an actual cage up on like on those bridges. Yeah. Like literally cage her in. <laughs> well, that is my plan. But I also just, yeah, I still have that mirror in front of her house every single time she walks out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, do we have any final comments on everything that's happened? I mean, for me, I'm just excited. Just pure excitement. That's, yeah, yeah, samesies. Okay, well, I think that'll do it for this episode then. 
So listeners, we hope you enjoyed us talking about the latest updates coming to Dreamlight Valley. Be sure to check out our socials because we'll be sharing all the things we're doing there, all the cool things, and maybe we'll even do a video tour at some point of our valleys. Oh, we that's that's a possibility yes. now. Mm-hmm. It sure is. But yeah, you can follow us everywhere on social media at PodDemastered. If you want to send us an email, if you have questions, comments, suggestions, ideas for future episodes, you can reach us at demasteredpodcast at gmail.com. And once again, thanks so much for listening to this episode, and we hope you tune in to the next one. See ya. See ya.